most of the USOs don't utilize his strength well versus the top tier. That's why he looks bad. Well, let me ask you this question. What is Soul's strength versus the top tier? And my and another question I want to ask, what is who is top tier in your opinion? <laughs> I don't know about top tier, but low tier for sure is auto cat. What is good guys? We are back. And you know, Japan always rate this character so high. Maybe this character is top tier, and maybe we just don't understand. So we're gonna go ahead and mess with him. So I think he's kind of grown him. I think he might be top tier. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel. You guys think he's still top tier? I actually think he might still be up there. May not be all the way up there, but definitely right there, man. Anyways, let's jump to the video. Let's play some matches. And I think this character is top tier. I really don't fully know why, but they believe in this character. Yeah, still after the nerfs. They believe this character is top tier. And I'm not going to like dismiss them so fast because there's a lot of good players out there. And even though like they're not winning American tournaments left and right because they can't come out, I will say that I want to know why, right? So I'm going to try to play this character and try to understand why. Because I'm trying to figure out why they put so much love with this character. I still think he's good, but he's a bit super boring now. I think you know why he's so boring? It's because all the characters can now do the things he can do. So now his stuff became a bit boring, you know what I mean? Oh, you're in trouble now. I can hate the fire. This, right? Woohoo! Oh, you don't get combo up there? I thought you did. Oh, I forgot it didn't work anymore. Oh, that works on Crouch and Okay. We won't. Alright. Oh, I messed that up. Oh! I gotta remember in the corner that doesn't work like that, huh? Oh, I'm dead. Whoa, that whip for her, Crouch? Oh, nah. Oh, nah, bro. Nah. What is that? Ooh, let's go. You know, to be honest with you, having a character that's just straightforward, that has the tools to punish everything in the game, Pretty good. How's this not so? How's this match up this version? Oh, this gonna hurt. Ooh, that combo was kinda crap. You know what's funny? I, I feel like Anji is so good this version, but no one talks about it. I wonder why. Oh, that was a bit risky. Catch it! Nope. I actually would take the overhead, it's all okay. Cause you have no meter, so that, that threat is so weak. How, how many uh, how many bad matches do you think so has, and why? Obviously, I know Tefmi because Tefmi kind of bullies all of the normal characters. But yeah, I'm I'm curious of like what what other characters that give so hard time. Tefmi, what Axel, Happy Chaos, the ones that are pretty bad, right? Leo's bad too. Damn, I thought Leo would be pretty easy. Damn, Leo just beat all those normal characters, huh? Damn, so can fight Leo 5-8? That's common. Dude, that's the problem with, uh, that's the problem with Sin. Sin doesn't have any lows to fight Leo. So he just mashed guard point. Damn, so that's the same problem? Funny, common dude. At least I have Kai in that match, even though I don't think Kai wins. Oh, 
でWe are getting shot. I would say Nago Design actually just beat all characters that actually plays the neutral because he just he has no type of like he has no type of situation where it's like, oh, you you're in a bad spot here. You know, all spots are really good because everything can be canceled with something good. It's never bad. No, not a lot of characters have to deal with that because a lot of characters have unique mobility. So they don't have to deal with that at all. Or some characters have a mechanic where they don't have to do it at all. I can name like eight, ten characters. Like I can literally name like characters that can literally dance around what Nago is doing. I can name what? Jacko, Testament, Leo, Chip, Axel, Ram, Bridget, Happy Chaos, Zato. Bro, that's like 50% of the guys. I mean, I don't think you're the only person who's an unpopular opinion. I just think that that's just realistically not true. But I'm not gonna, you know, maybe you see the game differently than everybody else, so fall out. I forgot, you can't do 6H RC, bro. Oh, no! You know, honestly, honestly, because I don't really have, like, all the crazy combos, every time I do play Soul, there are, there's always a situation where I'd be like, man, I'm glad I got a three framer here. So in that in that regard, it's always good. And honestly, dude, like uh, Bandit Bringer, it's just so good. This that move is so good because it's minus two, and the gap that it pushes between is like great. So I, 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 the more I play him, the more I see why they rate him so high. Still, it's because he just has all of the situations down. He's not he's not low on damage. His mix-up isn't like game winning, but you know, he has it. Good normals, good specials, except for one now. Command throw, strike throw game is super good too, because what is it, plus, plus three. Strike throw with plus three is so good in a game like this. So the more I like see it, I see why he's so good. Now I'm curious, what characters does he actually beat? I'm assuming characters like Happy Chaos is the biggest bad, the biggest bad man, right? Most of the US souls don't utilize the strength well versus the top tier. That's why he looks bad. Well, let me ask you this question. What is soul's strength versus the top tier? Protecting his space and counter purpose. So what is soul's space versus the top tier? And my and another question I want to ask, what is who is top tier in your opinion? I don't know about top tier, but low tier for sure, Zato Cat. Just outside of Souls 2S where he's the strongest. And this is speaking of Nago, Ram, Happy Chaos. So you're saying that Soul is the best at sitting at 2S against those characters? And you're telling that the Soul player should hold their ground at 2S range against Nago, Ram, and Happy Chaos? Is that what you're saying? Where is 2S range? Because we're gonna we're gonna sit there and we're gonna pull it out right here. I'm curious. So you said so this is where you think 2S soul 2S range of soul, right? 
This is what the range you're talking about? You have to use preemptive to us, correct? Is that what you're saying of holding the mid range? Now, what if the opponent does not strike there and then do this, right? So in that range, you're at a danger state because even though you can hold this range, even if if you're if you're preemptively striking, you're vulnerable of getting hit. We'll use another example because I'll say G, I'll say Ramathal and Nago kind of kind of plays the same. In a, in a lot of regards. Doesn't look good. This trade is not good too. You know why? Because it pushes you pushes you away. So you're still in a situation where it's dangerous. It is possible that a threat of doing a preemptive can make a ram be more close and slow down. Well, yeah. You know how they're going to slow down? They're going to slow down on their button press. So if they slow down on your button press and you whiff, you're still in danger. And then, even the range that you said against one character, it doesn't really work against Naga. Naga, you can't fight in this range. Especially with high level, high blood level. When a character has more range than you, you, your goal is not to fight them at their range. Your goal is to fight them around their range. Not in their range. Because you're not going to win that fight. Because the return that they get versus the one you get is definitely not in your favor. Your goal is to get here. So to argue to say that like Soul has to be in 2F range, Soul has to be outside of the character's 2S range. And you have to fight outside of that range there. That's why to say that this matchup is even is like crazy. Because you're not fighting at your best range most of the game. At round start, you are not at your best range. When you get knocked away here, you're not in your best range. When you get knocked away here, you're not in your best range. The only way you are in the best range is here. But you don't start there. So a player could be really good at beating a Nago that don't that is not good in the matchup. There are situations where maybe one player is good at the matchup and the other player is not. That shouldn't determine the matchup. Like for example, when I play Sin and like let's say for example I'm like smoking a Nago player, that is not because the matchup is even. Even then, even if I have the most experience in that player's matchup, even if they had a tiny salt of experience, it wouldn't be even. Like imagine you find a Nago that match every time on wake up and you get in a soul. That matchup is not even. The, the Nago player is not trying to play the matchup. If a matchup is in your favor, if a matchup is bad, but you play people that you're playing against, and like, oh, well, the people I play against, they're not, like, I beat them bad. It's like, well, maybe you haven't, like, they haven't developed. They haven't developed a matchup, like, like at a certain level. You have to play people that naturally develop matchups. And then that will determine, you play that and you, you keep playing it, and that will determine like how the matchup develops, rather than playing somebody that clearly is not going to play the matchup. Maybe I'll do a video of what's an even matchup. Maybe I should actually do a video of that. What determines a matchup, a bad matchup and a good matchup?